nuclear waste nemesis. China's Venus II was born, but the United States and Japan bid for it at a high price but were rejected. Let's take a closer look in this video. The Japanese government announced that starting on August 24th, the nuclear contaminated water from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant will be discharged into the ocean for 30 years. Hearing this news, I believe each of us will be heartbroken. Isn't there a better way to treat nuclear wastewater? In fact, it really exists, and this technology is only available in China in the world. It is China's Venus 2, which is China's first lead-based nuclear reactor Xerop hour device. This device has largely broken through the limitations of nuclear energy development. It is the first device in the world capable of deactivating nuclear waste. After knowing the news, the United States and Japan expressed their willingness to pay huge sums of money for the purchase, but China decisively rejected them. What is the reason that China actually put hundreds of billions of dollars without making money? What exactly is China's Venus II? Why do some people say it is the nemesis of nuclear waste? As we all know, nuclear power generation has become the new darling of many power generation methods in modern life. Compared with traditional power generation methods, nuclear power generation has the advantages of low cost and large capacity. But the biggest problem brought about by nuclear power generation is that it will produce a lot of nuclear waste. Once there is a mistake in the treatment, the radioactive nuclear waste will bring immeasurable losses to human beings. China's self-developed Venus II is an advanced device for nuclear waste treatment, and only China has this patented technology in the world. No wonder Japan will bid $300 billion and the United States will bid $600 billion to buy this technology from China. But don't worry, this time China has the initiative and China can monopolize this cutting-edge technology on a global scale. To understand Venus II, we need to know how nuclear waste is produced. The reason why nuclear energy can generate electricity is mainly through nuclear fission reactions, and the main disadvantage of nuclear energy generation lies in the nuclear waste generated during the nuclear fission reaction. The so-called nuclear waste is the residual product of nuclear fuel after nuclear fission reaction. There is a strange phenomenon in the process of nuclear fission. That is, before the nuclear fission reaction, there is only a single substance of uranium dioxide. But after the nuclear fission reaction, there will be more than 50 new elements in an instant. It should be known that the periodic table of elements mastered by mankind currently has only 118 elements. But the number of new elements produced by uranium dioxide that has undergone nuclear fission reactions accounts for half of the number of elements in the periodic table. Most importantly, the nuclear waste after nuclear fission is also terribly radioactive. And these radioactivity will cause huge damage to the ecology. Everyone knows that nuclear waste is seriously harmful but the development that nuclear energy brings to mankind is also unprecedented. Nuclear weapons, nuclear power plants, and nuclear power are all direct factors that will affect human development. So even if nuclear waste is so dangerous, humans cannot give up research on it. Fortunately, as long as nuclear waste is handled properly, the hazards can still be controlled. But to truly safely dispose of nuclear waste, only China's Venus II can do it at present, and other countries do not have the ability to completely and safely dispose of nuclear waste. Japan chose to flow into the sea to dilute its nuclear waste. Japan's approach is recognized as the most irresponsible treatment method in the world.
they chose to discharge nuclear wastewater directly into the sea, trying to dilute the radioactivity caused by nuclear waste through seawater. And this approach is likely to cause the radioactive substances in nuclear wastewater to spread from the Pacific Ocean to the entire ocean of the Earth. No wonder there are monsters like Godzilla in Japan. It seems that Japanese people also have such worries. In the face of Japan's approach, relevant German agencies conducted professional calculations. The calculation results show that it only takes 57 days for the entire Pacific Ocean to be polluted by nuclear waste. And once the entire Pacific Ocean is polluted, the world's oceans are inevitable. The rest of the world's nuclear waste is basically buried deep or stored in special containers. For example, India spent 641 billion to dig hundreds of meters deep in the Terrapur area of the country, which is dedicated to the burial of nuclear waste and uses the characteristics of the soil layer to isolate radiation. The United States has spent hundreds of millions of dollars to develop special containers, which can ensure that nuclear waste will not leak for tens of thousands of years in an environment of high temperature and high pressure. Although such an approach is good, the cost is high and most countries cannot afford it. Whether it is buried deep underground or stored in special containers, the traditional methods can only solve the urgent need, and they are all solutions to the symptoms rather than the root cause. If the problem of nuclear waste cannot be completely solved at the root, it will also cause serious damage to the ecological environment. Once the nuclear waste buried deep in the ground leaks, it will cause a devastating blow to the soil and water sources that human beings depend on for survival and completely pollute the entire ecosystem. Over the years, countries around the world have been working hard to research new methods of nuclear waste disposal, investing billions of dollars every year, but still have not made substantial progress. But just as the whole world is at a loss for how to deal with nuclear waste, the Chinese have sent out shocking news. The full name of Venus-2 is the lead-based nuclear reactor zero power device. It was finally successfully developed after four years of hard work by the China Institute of Atomic Energy and the Institute of Modern Physics of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It adopts a dual-core structure of water reactor and lead reactor. After the nuclear waste is recovered by Venus-2, it first comes into contact with the lead cold material inside the device, which reduces the nuclear radioactivity until it is lost. Then through a highly radioactive incinerator to deal with the nuclear waste, and the other energy released in the process of processing is collected and the second time into the electricity we need from the real sense to do the treatment and use of nuclear waste, reduce the probability of nuclear accidents and the risk of nuclear waste, and create a new era of nuclear waste treatment. Venus 2 is a lead-based nuclear reactor zero-power device independently developed by China. Its main function is to recycle nuclear waste. The effectiveness of this machine can be seen from the following aspects. First of all, Venus 2 can increase the utilization rate of nuclear fuel, reaching an astonishing 95% or more. Although the traditional nuclear fission technology is widely used, its efficiency is not high, and the nuclear waste is much and difficult to deal with. With the help of Venus 2, nuclear fuel can be better utilized, reducing the generation of nuclear waste. This is not only an important step in solving the problem of nuclear waste disposal, but also means that China will achieve more stable and long-term development in terms of energy conservation and environmental protection. Secondly, Venus 2 can also solve the problem of nuclear waste disposal. 
The disposal of nuclear waste has always been one of the difficulties in the field of environmental protection. How to safely dispose and recycle nuclear waste is the goal that researchers from all over the world have been working hard on. Venus 2 achieved the effect of killing two birds with one stone in solving this difficulty. First, the most dangerous minor actinides and fission products in spent fuel can be separated to eliminate unstable factors and greatly improve safety. Second, it can make nuclear waste lose its radioactivity in an instant and convert it into electricity. In this way, it not only greatly reduces the storage space of nuclear waste, but also contributes to energy conservation and environmental protection and realizes turning waste into treasure. Thirdly, Venus 2 is world-leading in technology, solving the bottleneck problem in the global energy innovation. Globally, nuclear power generation has become one of the important sources of energy for all countries, and the R&D and application of Venus 2 is a major event in the global energy revolution. It is reported that Japan and the United States both wanted to purchase the nuclear waste treatment technology of Venus 2 before, and the United States even invested $600 billion to buy it, but they were directly rejected by China. This not only demonstrates the strong strength of China's nuclear technology, but also protects the core interests of China's nuclear technology. To sum up, Venus 2 is not only an innovative nuclear industry artifact, but also embodies the wisdom of Chinese scientific and technological personnel for years of research and development and efforts to explore. In modern society, energy conservation and environmental protection have become the common responsibility of people of all countries, and the research and development and application of Venus 2 has given China more say in nuclear technology and the strength to participate in global energy innovation, which has promoted China's international influence and national image. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.